Welcome to F. Ed's Keto Way. This is a journal of F. Ed Knudsen's weight loss using nutritional ketogenesis. Let's see what Ed has for us today. Good morning. I am uh, on day 22, 23, 20, day 24 of my uh, keto journey. I'm doing fine. I'm down 2 2 from 299. Okay. Let's just say 300 down to about 272. Let's just say 270. So, well, anyway, two, <laughs> yeah, I had this 272 even uh, from 299. That's, uh, <clears throat> that's good. Feeling good this morning. I had a very strenuous weekend. Uh, I went on that hike uh, with Tuesday Dog in this area. Back over here, this picture's taken. And if you want to go to my YouTube channel and see it, uh, it's the Adventures of F. Ed and Tuesday Dog. It was, I, I paid for it yesterday. Sunday, I was pretty much worn out. I haven't really used my body for strenuous hiking. I've done some workouts with weights where you work out for about a minute and you stop and you, you know, and you're done in less than 15 minutes with a routine, maybe 20 and I hiked for an hour and a half up steep hills here in the desert in the chill. Plus, I had on a uh, oh those big, big, uh, yeah, thick. Um, it looked like a balloon. I can't remember what they called uh, jackets that's full of uh, down and uh, stuffed with down or, or something like that. Very well insulated, and uh, <clears throat> the wind was blowing a very cold wind. But underneath, I was sweating like a sweater, because I don't. Somebody told me pigs don't sweat, so why do we say that? But anyway, uh, I climbed up and Tuesday with me, and I've always had stamina since I was a boy on the farm, because you had to. You hiked across the fields. Dad would leave a farmer, um, farmer, a track. <laughs> yeah, another farmer. He leave him. No, he'd leave a tractor over at Uncle Lud's place. Uncle Lud. That's L-U-D. It's a good Norwegian name. Yeah, Lud for short for Ludwig. And he would leave that or have it set down there at Uncle Lud's. And that was about, I think, two and a half miles. And uh, he'd say, okay, I want you to go get that and bring it back, hook it up to the blah, 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 and go plow this. So, man, you'd hoof it. And uh, instead of taking the road, because the road would, like, go 90 one way and then uh, or go uh, lateral one way from the farm or, uh, and then zip up. So you are like, okay, that's going to take extra time. So I would take off through the summer fallow. And if you don't know what summer fallow is, it's like after or, or stubble because there would be alternating fields of fallow, fallow and stubble. Now the fallow was what was hard because it's soft and there's like mounds and then they're next to each other like this and then the, it's been plowed, so that ground is nice and soft. It's puffy, airy, and so going through it, your your foot just kind of like you know it's it's working in it. But when you get to the stubble, now the stubble had been uh, set there for a year after after harvest is still sitting there, and it had been set, and so the, those fallows are pretty much gone, and they're they're crusted over from the rain and stuff over the a year and a half. And so it's hot, easier to work, walk on, work on. Yeah, come on. But anyway, I had to, to get down there, and that's the things that I would have to do is walk down there as fast as I could. And I could huff and puff it, baby. And uh, I would go down there probably without stopping for, for a break. And you didn't take water with you. And, uh, you know, we didn't even know about salt pills then. I learned about them in high school when I was a wrestler. So anyway, uh, that's uh, something, that's probably the last time I did something. Oh, the Marine Corps. <laughs> Can't leave the Marine Corps. Huh? The Marine Corps, we did some stuff. Okay, all right, all right, we did. We hiked some hills. And uh, anyway, so that was, uh, and then after boot camp, I don't think I've done anything like that. Oh, no, one time with, with my friend, Jerry Allen. Uh, was it Jerry? No. Oh, no, it was somebody else. But anyway, went hiking in Sequoia, and I've got that stamina, and I took off hiking and he had to stop he told me ed where do you get all the energy because i was always heavier than him he was like maybe that was it i was burning fat and i knew how to burn it and psh. so anyway um that's my story and i'm sticking to it but i hiked this weekend and burned 
So when I came back down, I took a nap. I got up, and I was kind of, you know, a little weathered from the hike. But yesterday, oh, I think I, I sweated too much because my every, it seemed like my skin ached. Muscles and skin. And I know you're doing this. Arms are moving. I'm trying to keep balance. I didn't fall. I didn't even nearly fall. I did some light stumbles. But I did good. Because if I had fallen in some of those places, you know, if I had cracked my head, uh, they'd be looking for me today on Tuesday, probably. Or maybe they would have looked yesterday. yesterday. I did tell one person where I was going. So um, that was that was good. I took uh, some sodium um, sea salt and some potassium and some magnesium. And I took those throughout the day yesterday. And I slept on it last night. And I feel really a much, really much better. A real much, real muchy. Mushy, yeah, not as mushy, but <clears throat> much better this morning, and down to 272. And uh, what's weird is I say 272, but the, this the scale I got, um, I don't have the best eyesight anymore. I haven't been to the eye doctor in a couple of years. Like I said, this eye is starting to see better without my without my glasses, which is strange. And then, but the prescription was made for it, right? So in less than two years. Um, and then this eye, if I shut it, it's like, you're all a blur. And especially that one guy. Oh, that's your hair. <laughs> anyway, shut up, Ed. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I can't see the scale really well. Very well. Somewhat well. Well, well. And uh, so I would get off and I'd get back on. One time it'd say 270. Another time it'd two, say 271. Another would say 272. But I'll take 272. I'll take even the highest of it because I'm feeling good. And I went and shaved the uh, extra length of my beard. And I think you can still see the darkness. And when it was in, shaved it, and you got a barber, a barber bib that I use so that the, you know, falls off. It doesn't get on me. And uh, it fell into the sink. And I was looking, and yes, yeah, sure enough, there's some dark hairs in there. And I haven't dark, had dark hairs, oh, probably 10 or 15 years in my beard. So that's an interesting thing that keto is doing to me. Well, we're at seven minutes, and I've got some things to do here at work today. Uh, for one thing, I haven't even, haven't had my, that, my <laughs> coffee and butter yet. So I want to have my coffee and butter, then I'll settle in. And oh, as a matter of fact, yesterday I waited to, usually I wait till noon to eat, and I got busy and didn't eat till like 1.30. And then I, I noticed that, um, here's the thing, I, I, I don't really have an appetite, okay? And I thought about this. I'm going, I wonder if back in the day when people ate this kind of diet a lot, when you'd bring a bunch of people around and they'd be gathered, it's like, well, I don't know. I don't really feel like eating. So you'd put out the appetizers, the hors d'oeuvres, okay? And after you eat something, maybe a little starchy or sweet and stuff like that, then you're going, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why they have appetizers. We don't really need them today. We snack between every meal, six meals, seven meals a day. And then, I, I mean, I was one of those people, if, I would like ice cream and stuff. And if you think about all the sugars that you're ingesting or you have ingested if you've stopped. Anyway, there we go. We're at 826 and uh, I'm having a good time with this. I'm still a little bit sore from the walk, but uh, I'm going to take some uh, uh, sodium, uh, some, uh, yeah, what do you call it? Real salt. Real salt and no salt, they call it. That's the potassium and then my magnesium pill. I use the magnesium citrate. And it, it, it kind of works on the bowels just a little bit if you're eating uh, too much meat. Sometimes maybe you want to move it. <clears throat> move it, move it, move it now. So there we go. And uh, I just hope you enjoy your day. Uh, it's Thanksgiving in two days. And when I wish all of you even that guy that I made fun of earlier, sorry about the, with the hair. It's nice hair, though. You don't really, we sh you probably should have combed your hair before you sat down here today. I, I had, when I get up in the morning, I have this uh, Einstein hair, you know, there. Okay, I'm going to comb this after the show, but I, I, I got everything in the morning, and I get, o <coughs> get over to the bathroom, and I'm like, wow, what's that, man, cotton candy? So anyway, that's, uh, that's what you look like today. Thanks for being with us. 
Thanks for joining me on FED's Keto Weight Journey. Visit my blog at fedketo.com. That's fedketo.com. Also, my YouTube channel is edfilm711. That's edfilm711. Come back later for more as I video journal my Keto Weight Journey.